right, I've decided this week that this hoop is a little bit full, particularly for this week's stitch, which is coral stitch. So, ta-da! Uh, here's another five inch hoop. I don't know why I chose five inch hoop originally, but there we go, you live and learn. So I've got this lovely blue thread. Um, I like this color, it's a nice color. It's 996 DMC. And I've got loads of room to do some coral stitch here. So what you need to do is come up through your fabric and then you can either draw on um, a horizontal line or you can just kind of imagine it. I'm going to freestyle it as usual, but if you find it easier, draw it on with something like an air erasable pen, something that's going to disappear. Um, and what you need to do is go down through the fabric just above the line and come back up just below the line. But as you can see, I haven't actually brought my thread through. I'm going to loop it around like so and then push it through and you need to pull it through in the direction of the line so you'll see that I'm going from right to left here. You can obviously work from left to right if you'd rather. And gently pull it through and then you end up with like a little knot. So a coral stitch is essentially a line with lots of knots in. <laughs> so it's really nice actually once you've got the hang of it. A little bit tricky at first just kind of making sure you're getting your um, knots kind of roughly in the same place. Also make sure that you're pulling the working thread that's coming directly out of the fabric so you go over the top of the needle round underneath. Ooh, there we go and as you pull towards that side you'll see the knot created. I would say have a little experiment with different numbers of strands for this and um, what you could do is just do a few in a line. Um, I've left that a bit baggy there so I've just pulled it at the back. Keep checking the tension of your fabric as well, but just have a little play around with it really. So I'm going to go up, down through the fabric as if it was just above that imaginary line and up again. Go over the top of your needle and under to the other side and then pull it through. Oh now let's do a little bit of troubleshooting here. Okay, so what's happened here is, can you see one of my threads hasn't come through Ah, uh, that's annoying, isn't it? Now, sometimes you can wiggle it through by just pulling at the back. Other times it's like less successful. I can get my uh, words out there. So you just need to have a little wiggle around. I think on this occasion, this is going to be one that I can't really move that easily. So that might be a case of unpicking. So a reminder, <laughs> a reminder to myself. Remember, before you start the next stitch, just make sure that all of your threads are nicely pulled together so that they're going to form together. I'm just going to leave that for now. I could unpick it if I was being really picky, but part of the point of this project is to be less picky and go for it and just show you exactly what's happening as I'm stitching. So there we go. I'm just going to leave it. And the next one is much nicer. There we go. That's what it should look like. So always good to do a little bit of troubleshooting as we go, isn't it? So yeah, um, it would be up to you if you wanted to unpick it, if you weren't quite happy with it, you could do that. But, you know, just try and make sure um, that you've got all of those threads coming together before you start the next stitch. Make sure that you've pushed your needle far down enough. Sometimes if it's if it's moving around a little bit, it's often just that I haven't pulled it through enough um, at that point before you're wrapping it round. So that's just another thing to think about as well. Um, and as you can see here, I'm just going along in a straight line. But as I said, if you if you want to draw it on, that's absolutely no problem at all. Just do whatever works for you. There we go. Ta-da! It's quite a nice stitch, isn't it? I mean, you could be a bit more methodical in how you worked it out, I suppose. Um, it's entirely up to you. So because I've got that open end there, I'm going to actually finish and just mirror that. So I'm just going to go back through the fabric with a, essentially a straight stitch here just to balance that out nicely with the other side. And there's not a lot to it on the back. You can just basically see where you've put your needle through the fabric and just caught it a little bit. It's actually quite a tidy stitch on the back because all of the exciting things are happening on the front of the hoop. But just trim that end there and then it won't get caught. And there we have it. One slightly dodgy bit, but other than that, we've got our lovely coral stitch there. So have fun. <music>